Good day, viewers. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, your number one reliable channel where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you. I appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel. So if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I drop any video. And see the disaster Buari's daughter cost a man. According to Asaba, Delta State-based young businessman, while people around have tried to cheer him up and make him put the setback behind him, it has been difficult for him not to think of taking his own life, going by the crisis, his bitter experience at the hands of the DSS had plunged him into. Days after he was released by the Department of State Services, after being arrested and detained unlawfully for 10 weeks for using a SIM card previously owned by President Momodou Buhari's daughter, Anna, Antonio Okelia has told Sahara reporters that it has been difficult overcoming those of suicide. According to the Asaba Delta man based young businessman, why people around have tried to cheer him up and make him put the set back behind him, it has been difficult for him not to think of taking his own life going by the crisis of his bitter experience at the DSS. Apart from currently battling with a 5 million debt and having a sick mother to attend to, being jilted by his fiancée with whom he was planning married with ag combined to aggravate his worries and make his life a living hell. Persons who invested in a fish farm scheme that he had set up before his arrest have been on his neck to pay back their money following the collapse of the business while he was in detention. Every area of Okoli's life had not been the same since his traumatizing experience at the facility of DSS in Abuja. Each time I receive calls from any of the persons who invest, invested in the farm, fish farm business, I feel like committing suicide because I have no means of paying back the debts government put me into. The young man said that while speaking, with his correspondence. I am currently owing people a lot of money, over 5 million naira, that people invested in the fish farm that perished while I was unlawfully arrested and detained. After the first two weeks in detention, I, left like, I felt like committing suicide, but there was no means for me to do that. I have been having emotional trauma and nightmares over ever since the incident occurred. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Viewers, committing suicide is out of the question. But what really needs to be asked about is how it, be, how it came about the former son of President Mamadou Buhari's daughter and what warranted him to go on, on using it. What does not belong to him. As for his business and his is a business partners i would say what needs to be done is you should not get worried too much because business is all about profits and loss the loss made today will begin tomorrow it is normal to be in partnership fine to borrow money and ask for needs from business partners but what matters most is the keeping and maintaining of partner's relationship by paying back to your partner what is collected from at when due against next time. So there is no need for fear of owing a partner. Instead, one should be mapping out a means of sourcing back money to set you the debt. So it should, my own advice is it should not suicide should not be the next solution to the matter to this case. What needs to be done is for him to get for him to get a source 
a means of getting this money is owing these people. Get this money and you should pay back the money, not committing suicide. So viewers, what is your own take on this news? This is my own view. I don't know about yours. If you have any comments on this news that you just heard, kindly drop your comment below as well as clicking on the subscription button to receive updates whenever I drop a new video. Thank you and God bless you tremendously. Have a wonderful day. Bye.